good morning and welcome to Cook It Uncovered. This afternoon I'd love to share with you this great recipe which is a basic uh, mother sauce or white sauce and it's called bechamel and in the culinary world there's five sauces. There's bechamel, velouté which is made with a chicken or a veal uh, stock, a hollandaise, tomato or a Espino, which is a beautiful brown sauce, but today let's concentrate on this beautiful cream sauce. So if you can remember this, if you can remember four tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of flour, four cups of milk, that's the basic ratio and it works really well. So on my cutting board here I've got my four tablespoons of butter and I'm just going to slowly melt the butter so that it um, is completely melted. So that's what you'd like, completely melted. All right, on my board here as well, I'm just gonna move this over a little bit. On my board I have here, I've diced up a shallot. So here's my shallots. And now this is the point where you kind of ask yourself, do you want more flavor? Do you want a little bit more aromatic flavor? Well, a shallot is, it fits the bill. Of course you could just use plain white onions. It would work really well. So to my, to my butter, I'm going to saute my, my shallot. It's actually a, a very big shallot, so actually I used half a shallot, but generally shallots are this size, so I, use, I would use one of these. And again, a quarter cup of butter, um, uh, sorry, a quarter cup of onion would work really well. So I'm just going to saute this ever so slightly. Now remember the ratio, four, four tablespoons of butter to four tablespoons of flour. So here's my flour right here. And I'm going to just bring this up a little bit more. I could turn the heat up a little bit on this now because I've added the onions and now my butter, it'll be very hard for my butter to burn. So that's going to saute away here. All right, this is very good. Now I've got my milk at the ready here, sitting on my stove. It's a good idea to bring your milk out of the fridge and bring it to room temperature. And the fabulous thing about this type of a bechamel or a mother sauce is that you can turn this sauce into anything. I have here on the counter, I've got four types of cheeses. Parmesan cheese, which you can grate, a triple cream brie, cheddar cheese, which is one of the basics, or goat's cheese. Here, goat's cheese. And after, if you wanted to turn this into a cream sauce, a cream cheese sauce, like to put on vegetables or to add to um, the top of anything like you know your carrots or your broccoli or on top of um, a sandwich it would just be amazing it would be amazing these you could add afterwards so to my to my butter and my shallots they're nicely sauteed they're just transparent I'm going to add the four tablespoons of flour so one two three Four. And what I'm making right now, it's called a roux. I'm, I'm making a roux with my butter and my flour and I'm going to cook my roux and I'll show you what that looks like. You just want it to cook down. You don't want to just leave it at this stage and you don't want to um, add your milk yet because you want to cook off your flour. So this is what it looks like. Can you see that? Sorry, I don't have a see-through pot for this. And so I'm going to just let this cook off a bit. And then I'm going to add my milk. The beautiful, beautiful part of this pot, this is my copper pot, and it's an amazing pot for making sauces, but you can use any any of your sauce pots that you have, you know, your regular ones, they would work quite well. The problem is with a regular pot, you may have to make sure you don't leave it because it'll burn very easy. The bechamel would burn very easy. Okay, here we go. I've cooked off my flour for about two minutes and a half. Now I'm going to add my flour, my, my milk. My milk goes in. I can turn up the heat a little bit. And I'm going to just stir that. And I'm going to switch at this point to a, a whisk. And because I'm using my nice copper pot, I'm going to switch to a whisk that's a silicone whisk. So I'm just going to whisk this. So this is going to take a few minutes. Be patient with it. Don't, keep, don't let your heat go too high but you have to keep stirring. This, this does take a little bit of patience, but this is going to be so delicious. And at the end, we're going to add our salt and pepper, and then we'll talk about some uh, variations.
So to my sauce, I want to add my salt and pepper. So it would end up being about half a teaspoon of salt and cracked pepper. If you want to use white pepper, that, of course that's fine, but I just love the, the taste of the cracked pepper. And a smidgen of nutmeg. And I, this means just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of nutmeg. And this actually says smidgen on here. In other words, a tiny pinch of nutmeg. And your nutmeg really helps to enhance the flavors in your bechamel. So this is starting to heat and I'm stirring away. And again, I'm being patient because it's going to be a great sauce. Okay, this sauce has come up to the boil and I've been stirring and with my whisk here. And this process has taken about 10 minutes. Now, I can keep going like this. Um, if I want my sauce to be really, really thick, I keep it on low heat and I keep stirring. And what happens is it reduces, it's called a reduction. And you're, what you're doing is all the moisture is evaporating. What you're left with is this beautiful thick sauce. But this is, this is the consistency I want. It's cooked properly. The shallots are going to be delicious. And of course you always taste your sauces and adjust the seasoning. You can add a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, perhaps a little bit of hot sauce. So, but I wanna show you what we do now. So there's my sauce. 10 minutes, pretty much it's done. So now I'm going to take my pot and I'm going to strain my bechamel because I want the flavor of the shallots but I don't necessarily want them in my sauce. If you're okay with the shallots and the, and the uh, cracked pepper in your sauce then don't strain but I do like to strain my sauce. So th into a bowl with a wire mesh strainer. Isn't that beautiful? And that's all going to, so if there is any lumps you've just eliminated all the lumps so it's perfect. So now, here's my sauce and my beautiful, beautiful bechamel sauce is ready to go. So, let's say I was making mac and cheese, macaroni and cheese. This could be the base for the macaroni and cheese. Or if I want sauce over fish. Or if I want to do scalloped potatoes. Or if I just want a cream sauce over my carrots. And then, You've got so many variations. So cheese, what about mushrooms? Saute up some mushrooms and make a mushroom sauce, which is a totally different sauce, but mushrooms in this sauce, seriously, is delicious. So I hope you've enjoyed this. This I'm going to use tonight. Actually, you know what? Macaroni and cheese might be a good idea on this cold winter day. It's just pouring in North Vancouver. So comfort food, start with the bechamel sauce, your basic mother sauce. So thanks for joining me on Cooking Uncovered. And this, is going to be delicious. Thanks for joining me.